Hi guys, I'm going to try and do uh, one of the rings from um, a top view and um, get my fat hands in the way, but uh, give it a shot. This is like the last video, I just prepared this. Going to be a twist ring. So, first off, large format jaw, almost the equivalent circumference that matches the jaw. Okay, so slightly up at an angle. You can't see me pulling down on the great big rod in front of you, but people think that I'm pulling this and I'm not. So you watch that. Yeah, I'm not pulling it. And this is stainless steel. The last one we did in the last video was um, plate. This one's going to take a bit more bending. Thicker it gets, harder it gets. I'm putting a lot of force on this to bend it bend stainless. You see that? That's where we got to there. Same jaw, slightly different diameter. You've got to be careful here. You don't kind of bend it out of shape too much. But I'm just trying to get you to kind of get the metal to try and get used to being bent here. There's a lot of force. Okay, here we go. Let me play the jaws over. I'll work on this design a little bit, but this is just to uh, stop it rotating. As Mr. Robert would say, clocking. about manipulation on this basically Remember me saying it would walk up? And there you go, it's walking up. This is ex extremely strong, this, uh, this piece. Just learning it to move. There you go, the English term for you, learning it. Now what I've done here before is, I've actually put a screwdriver in and worked this up and over the edge. We can actually do that right now. Remember, every time you touch some of the softer materials you are actually going to mar the surface, surface so you have to be careful about what you're doing. Stainless, not so much, but put some weight on it.
You can also use your hammer while you're doing this. Get it tight. Pinwheel. I have to work on this uh, release mechanism. Now when I made these, they were just a, a bar, you know, I cut straight through with uh, varying drills. This stuff cuts like butter. Don't be afraid to beat on it. As long as you've got the right hammer, you're not going to really cause too much trouble. Now, this thick part, that is going to have some issues bending in there. So that's going to take quite a lot of force to do. I might have to put it on the mandrel to finish it off, but... shot and you can't see this this is like two and a half feet long the rod that I'm pulling on so it's a it's a lot of force so we'll try something here we put it on get a bite on it grab it Manipulate it. Look, manipulate it. Manipulate it some more. And it's starting to take shape. Getting the spirals, the spiral diameters to walk into each other. That's a that can be a chore. But again you gotta play with it. Just watch what the metal's doing. And that's a little better. There we go. Can you see that? And that's stainless steel. So one of the heavier ones that you're ever going to do. Obviously. 
everybody looks at rings and it's like if you look at the shape of your fingers you've got higher lower so if a ring comes over and it's a twist it's going to go down there higher lower down here so like there like here so you make the rings to fit now if you're doing it on the other hand obviously that doesn't work real well so you would do the twist the other way around so instead of coming up this way you come down this way or you can do it from the other end do it from this end round the other way coming in this side again it's just manipulation hope that video is a little better so that you can see things DCT makes out subscribe click like comment good bad I don't care whatever you like take it easy bye